Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live and we're coming to you live, of course, from the uh, Settlers Monument. And this is uh, every Sunday, of course, you know, we have a literature slot on Morning Live on Sunday mornings. And we've decided that uh, this time we should uh, bring it to you from the National Arts Festival. And there is uh, a lot of uh, discussions happening at the National Arts Festival. And one of them is a think fest about, you know, uh, bringing together writers and authors from throughout the country continent to chat about the role of women and authors in general and with me at the moment is uh, Zambian writer Mulenga Kapwepwe as well as uh, Zimbabwean uh, writer Tandiwe Nyama Sviswa. She's here to tell us more uh, about the discussion. Ladies, good morning. Welcome to South Africa. Thank you very much. Good morning. Talk to us about the discussion that you're part of and what that will entail. Um, the discussion, the, the work that we're part of is uh, part of the TWIST project, which is a project uh, that has brought uh, writers together from uh, all parts of Africa. And what we're really doing is um, we're going through a process of, uh, of developing scripts and how to write scripts. And so that discussion is very interesting mm -hmm. because it's bringing us from different parts, you know, different plays, different uh, writers, different perspectives. It's, um, I think that's the interesting part of that experience. Yeah. yeah. What has been the most interesting uh, bit of the discussion for you, Tandiwe? Well, I think for me it was seeing the many different plays, how, because we all had to read a book and then get inspiration from that book, not adapted, but just get inspiration. So when we came and we hear six people's play and it's all six different directions that we took from one book, so that was really interesting for me, yeah. yeah. What uh, are we trying to say with this and the way African literature and the way African stories are being told? Mm. I think I think one part of the conversation for me is that uh, I, I realize that uh, you know Africa is vast. It's, there's a diversity here, and the conversations that I hear in the different plays, you know, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm from Zambia. I can I can see what a Zambian audience would want. I'm I'm interested to learn what a South African audience would 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 listen to. You know, so it's been very interesting in that perspective. It it gives you the the diversity to learn from and to think about. For you. Well, sorry, what's the question? Um, uh, what, what, what have you uh, taken away from this? Oh, I think I've taken away the different ways people, the creative process, that the creative process is different for not only individuals, but also from different countries as well. So that's what I've taken away. It's, it's been interesting to see people go through a different process to come up with something. Yeah. And are we telling enough African stories? Pardon? Are we telling enough African stories? Yes and no. There's so many African stories. Like what Mulenga said, Africa is vast and we've got so many stories. I think it'll, there's more and more African stories that need to be told. So I'm quite excited that we have this discussion where we can develop plays and just develop more and more writers. I think Africa needs so many of its stories told. Yeah. yeah. Are we telling enough African stories, Mulenga? Uh, we could do more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I certainly think so because uh, as Tandi was saying, there's so much to tell about Africa and we haven't told it yet. And uh, so there's room for all that, which is exciting, I think, for the young and for, you know, for, for anybody who's interested in, in telling those stories. There's a mine uh, of stories to be told. So, you know, I'm very happy that projects like this are, are, are out there helping um, young people and uh, even old people like myself <laughs> develop techniques um, to tell these stories because I think that's you know that's that's what the continent has to offer as well to the human narrative so it's very important and we must do it. What is it about writing that is so close to your heart? <sighs> I think that's it's the only writing is the only way that you know the voices in my head can be heard outside. <laughs> <laughs> whether they're crazy or the, whether they make sense, but, you know, that is the way, you know, you, when you write it down and give it to someone else, then you can hear yourself outside yourself. So yeah. that, that's, that's incredibly magical to me. Yeah. yeah. For you, what is it about writing that is so close to your heart? For me, it's in writing, I can create a world I want to see. I can create the Africa I want to see. So if, if there's something, if there's an issue that's going on and I want it fixed in writing, I have the power to actually create it. And hopefully someone will see the play and say, oh, this is possible. We can have a Zimbabwe like this. We can have an Africa like this from my play. So that's why it's important for me to write. Yeah. And how much is writing contributing to perceptions about Africa? Um, I, th I think it's one major way that, that perceptions in Africa and, and attitudes and opinions and 
all the things that kind of circulate in society and make society. Writing is the one way that we can actually do it, you know, um, because, you know, growing up in the 60s and 70s uh, and we had like the African writer series, up to now, you know, people still talk about that and they still talk about how that shaped the way they thought and, and, and the whole education came alive because of that writing. So, you know, I think we can, we can say that writing is actually one of the best uh, tools that we have to shape the continent. Now, Dr. Emma is part of uh, the panelists as well. What's her role there? She is a director and she's she's doing the logistics as well. She's but she's part of the director. She's even directing my play. <laughs> yes. Tell us about this play a little bit. Give us background into this play. Well, the play is I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. But yeah, <laughs> it's it without down. writing it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, because I want people to come for the reading. So yes. well I can give the title and I hope that the play is called Two Dead Government Officials. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's and well it's it's it analyzes the theme between justice and mercy. Can we have justice without mercy? Can we have mercy with justice? Is there is there do we do mercy at the cost of justice or does justice come at the cost of mercy? What is justice and mercy? So yeah, that's that's the theme of the story. All right. Ladies, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. I know it's bright and early. We do apologize. <laughs> uh, uh, Zambia and uh, from Zimbabwe, respectively, the two writers. And uh, they've been given the task of, you know, turning plays into words. Well, they already are words, but, you know, writing it a bit more concise, I imagine. Uh, it's a difficult task when you're a writer and, and author. All right. That was our book slot for this moment. And then after this, we'll chat about a production by Jade Bowers called Scorched. All right, let's take a